Gwennon will need you to testify against Sophie at the hearing. No way. You're the only person who knows what was going through her head when she gave the baby up. I can't do that to Sophie. Look, you were there when she left the hospital because she couldn't even be near the baby. She wanted nothing to do with Hallie. I know. Okay, but if I take Will and Gwen's side, Sophie's not going to forgive me. I don't get it. What is your loyalty to that girl? She ripped Hallie from her crib. Sophie is Hallie's biological mother. Yeah, and you're her godfather. And you owe it to that little girl to make sure she has a good home and parents who can actually take care of her. Hey, listen. I did what I had to do to make sure nothing bad happened to Hallie. I was Sophie's friend, and I still like to be. I'm not going to stab her in the back. I can tell from the look on your face he said no. I did my best, I swear. So maybe I should go talk to him. I don't think it'll help. He's really loyal to Sophie, even though she's not even speaking to him right now. What are we going to do? We need Aaron's testimony. Thought I'd pick you guys up so we could go over everything one more time before the hearing. Listen, we, we need more time. No, when? What we need is to convince that judge that Sophie knew exactly what she was doing when she signed those adoption papers. How's that witness coming? I said no, and we're out of ideas. Well, you know what? If Aaron is Sophie's friend, maybe it's for the best. But I think we should get going. Uh, you know, our sitter's not even here yet. I'll wait for the sitter, and I'll just meet you guys there. Okay. okay. Let's go. Thanks. All right, let's go. If we're late, the judge is not going to be happy. Right. I can't let them know what I'm doing. Which is? I need a favor, Lily. A uh, big one. Oh. I need to borrow your mother's jet. Why do I get the feeling I don't want to know why? You don't. Believe me. Uh, okay, if you're going to uh, use the jet, you need a flight plan, a passenger list. You have to promise me that you will not breathe a word. What are you up to, Carly? I have to get Parker out of here. Tonight. And no one can know where we're going. I was thinking, maybe you should give your father another chance. I can't believe this. You, of all people, should know what he's capable of. Well, maybe he's trying to make it up to you and doesn't know how. What could he possibly do to make up for killing my mother and trying to kill you? Look, no, it's not about forgiving him. It's about letting all of this stuff go. Trust me, no good can come with carrying around a bunch of hate. Look, don't you see? He's never going to be sorry about what he did. Yeah, but look what it's doing to you. I just think that maybe it would do you some good if you resolve issues with him. That's impossible. He's a murderer and a bigot, and I don't want anything to do with him ever again. You know what really gets me about this? He would side with him. Dad? I'm sorry. Looks like you have plans. Hey, that's okay. You're always welcome here. You know that. You hungry? No. No, I don't have much of an appetite. What's going on? Will and Gwen want me to testify in their custody hearing. And you don't want to do it? Oh, I do. I, I do, but I don't. I mean, I'm on their side in, in, in a lot of ways. I mean, they're, they're great parents, and it would kill them if they lost Hallie. So what's the problem? Well, they want me to talk about things only I know about because Sophie told me. In confidence. Oh, I see. You know, the first time that Sophie agreed to the adoption... You know, she was so into her boyfriend, Cole, at the time, she was willing to do anything just to keep him. Including giving up her baby? Yes. I tried talking her out of it, but it's like she was under some kind of spell, you know, with this jerk doing whatever he wanted her to do. Mm. Not the best quality for a mother to have. No. But she trusted me. After Cole walked out on her, and she decided to give Gwen and Will the baby anyway, she told me things. She told me things that she didn't tell anybody else. Now, how can I turn around and use that against her? You know, if for some reason she loses a baby because of me, she's never going to forgive me. That's a tough place to be. I respect you, though. You don't want to hurt Gwen and Will or Sophie. Listen, it's, it's a, it's a no-win situation. You know, you know what? Bottom line, if there's one person that you have to make sure that you don't hurt here. Allie. Be seated, please. 
Are we ready to continue? We are, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I have been through the testimony so far, and I have to say this is not an easy case. I have sympathy for both sides. But the strong-arm tactics of the adoptive parents' mothers do seem to suggest an element of coercion. You can't judge us by our mothers. Don't interrupt. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You requested a delay in order to produce another witness. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I will... Excuse me, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not uh, too late. I'm here to testify. And you are... I'm Aaron Snyder. I'm a friend of Will and Gwen's and, and Sophie's. Maybe I can shed some light on why Sophie wanted to give up her kid. Objection! I'm sorry. I can't help you. I cannot help you run away. Is this what you want? Parker? To be a fugitive for the rest of his life? No. Of course not. I want him to grow up happy and healthy in his own home, but they are not going to let that happen. The judge wants to try him as an adult. He could go to jail for 20 years because of me. I'm the reason he pulled that trigger. I understand. Believe me, I do. But don't you think by running, you're only making matters worse? He was protecting me, Lily. I have to protect him. I look at Parker, I don't see an adult. I see my little boy. And I cannot bear the thought of him in jail. Please, think about everything you did to help Luke. Can I do any less? Hello, this is Lily Snyder. I need the jet to be prepared for a flight this evening. What's all this? Well, you made the stew, so I thought I could do my part. What? Oh. You're not in the mood? Oh, no, no, it's not that. I know I said I wanted to talk, but I'm a little distracted. What did Carly say? Exactly what you thought she would say. The DA wants to try Parker as an adult. Hmm. I guess I better call Jack. Uh, no, no, don't, because not that many people know about it just yet. Why did she tell you? I'd rather not say. Lily. She made me swear not to say anything. Lily, come on. We promised that we weren't going to keep things from each other. This obviously involves you. With Carly, odds are it's probably something that's going to get you into trouble. No, I can't. I can't, I can't do it to Lily, come on. Don't do this to us. Whatever it is, don't, don't let another secret come between us. Hey, where'd you go? I wanted you to talk to Parker with me. I'm sorry. I just needed some air. I can't believe Margaret let this happen. Oh, it's not her fault. You just gotta fight harder, that's all. We promised Parker we wouldn't let anything bad happen to him. We can't break that promise. We already have. We can still win this, Carly, but we gotta stay strong. Parker has to see us confident. Unfortunately, I don't have as much faith in the justice system as you do. I promise you. We will get through this. Believe me, Jack, I do want what's best for Parker. And I will do whatever it takes to make sure he's okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now I gotta get back to the station. I got some work I gotta do. I'll be back to check on him. Bye. 